So data. Data is all about you. You're the subject, the product and the prize. And you're worth a small fortune to people who want to market things at you. People who want to predict your behaviour. People who want to know everything about you. Meet data controllers. Data controllers are the architects and administrators of the devices, operating systems and apps you use. Essentially, they follow you around, both online and offline, and include the companies and government departments you knowingly interact with, and also the ones you know nothing about. Sometimes they tease data out of you with a checkbox or a privacy setting. Sometimes they obtain it via things you post or publish or generate. But they also do it secretly, involving emitted information about you that you know nothing about. All this is collated and analysed to produce vast dossiers to be sold and shared at their whim, because in their eyes, they own you. This is where data protection law comes in. Data protection laws are designed to defend your personal information and your rights to know what happens to it. It's about safeguarding data from all those who want it and preventing it from being abused, but it's more powerful and complicated than you might think. Legal protections on data differ enormously around the world. More than 100 countries have implemented some level of data protection law, but these don't always cover every industry sector or government function. And, because information travels around the world through borderless networks, even if you live somewhere where your data is protected, it will likely end up in countries that have different laws or none at all, which means you have no remedies if your rights are abused. This reaches new realms of problematicness when you consider that most of the world's information passes through tech HQs, and almost all of them are in the US. And under US law, non-Americans have no rights at all. In fact, US industry is spending crazy money all around the world lobbying for decreased protections of your data. In short, they know that the more rights you have, the more control you have, and the less they will earn off of your information. And this often works the same way for governments, because your protections limit their control over you and your data. Data protection law needs to prevent all this from happening. It needs to ensure that there are no secret databases and that the purpose for the data and its uses are specified at the time and not ever extended. Only data that is necessary should be collected and it should be kept up to date, secure and be deleted when no longer necessary. No information should ever be passed on without consent. Crucially, we should have access to our information and the right to challenge what's being held and to seek its deletion, rectification or modification at any time we choose. All these rights are vital, but the final missing piece to this privacy protection puzzle has got to be ongoing accountability. We need an independent regulator to whom we can appeal, who can investigate, and who can enforce decisions against organisations. That's why Privacy International is working to protect your rights. Learn more about data protection on our website and get involved.